Hey everybody, welcome back. We're doing another Marvel Future Revolution video. In this one, we are going to talk about leveling expectations. What I mean by that is, and I do this a little bit with videos where it's like, take your time, have fun. That's not necessarily what I'm talking about. Uh, I do want to give somebody what I think the proper expectations are. A lot of people are already at 120, but there's a lot of people who aren't as well. Um, so there's a lot of different variety of players. So I just, whether you're a new player or an existing player who's not leveled up, or even if you're at 120, something to think about for new level caps in the future uh, is about these expectations, What the way to kind of see it, how, how far you might be able to get through certain things. Uh, we're just going to walk through that a little bit, right? So if you're new to the channel, check out the Discord link in the description below. I really like Discord. It's a great chat uh, feature. It's also one of the best ways that I have found to interact with my alliance in this game, making it way more fun. We're on voice chat pretty much every night. I'll be on there here, and, you know, right after I shoot this video in 10, 15 minutes because it's just a great time to interact. That's the point of MMOs, social, have fun, chat, et cetera, et cetera. So come join that community. We try to help people as much as we can. If you want to help out the YouTube algorithm, hammer down like buttons, click the notification bell, subscribe. We appreciate it for it. And let's get to talking. Bring me Wolverthor. Okay, so the first thing I have up here was a screenshot that I got sent to me when people were leveling like crazy. So when the patch first hit with the level capped at 120, I was semi-fast, semi-slow. Uh, I basically was like reading the story, seeing if I could get some companions to help my XP. It was kind of like, all right, what am I going to do here? Let's figure this out. You know, where some people were just like, shh, shh, I'm just leveling. I'm getting to 120 as fast as I can. To each their own, I'm not going to say, you know, what you should or shouldn't do. I would say, you know, pick what you what works for you best, given your schedule, your general demeanor, the way you like to do things, stuff like that. So when I saw this, knowing that it was like 120, I'm like, oh, well, you don't even get to 115. So there's a lot of training grounds to do. So uh, I expect this to be the case uh, for all level caps moving forward where they're gonna give us some story and then there's gonna be some amount of time you have to spend in training grounds. I think this is intentional so that it goes a little slower. I think they know that we're basically nuts and we just level like crazy and we wanna get to the end as fast as we can and then say, hey, where's the rest of my stuff? And they'll go, well, we thought you were gonna take that longer, take longer to do that. So this one, uh, I also had for mine, I was slightly ahead of this one, though not by much, you know, it's still 114, but like, you know, a little bit higher. I mean, not even a full percent. I didn't even have a lot of XP tunes on there. As you, if you, anybody who checked out my videos for my openings, trying to get Kasim, I, I didn't do well. So I did throw them on there, but um, I didn't get, uh, I didn't get anything special there. I don't have Yandu at five star, I don't have Kasim five stars, so. You know, I got the collection bonuses, but that's pretty much it. So, you know, the expectation here is to get about 40% of the way, I'll say, to the next level. And then you're going to have to use training grounds to get the rest of the way. And for me, like, so that means, think about that for a second. If you know you've got to, I, there's one thing I really like about this. What I, because what I did here is I was up way too late. I was up way too early. And then I was kind of like, man, I really want to just level. I want to level. Let's do this story. Versus I could have went to bed, you know, set an alarm for when the patch came out, hoped it was out, and then drop my character in training grounds and just let him run around. Just let him go do, just run around, go do your thing. And then, you know, six or seven hours later, when I've got time, um, or maybe sporadically, depending on what I'm doing, when the, the what day it is, you know, what work situation is, uh, just, you know, family situation, all those sorts of things. Maybe then I go into the story and like, maybe I hit a couple, a couple, uh, quests for 30 minutes, send them back into training zone, training grounds. So, um, I think while I want to get leveled fast enough, I think that's one of the things that net marble is likely doing is keeping us from ourselves, uh, pre preventing ourselves doing, uh, preventing us from doing damage to ourselves. I, I whatever, however you want to look at it. I just want to level. I get it. But I think that's part of the thing they're doing too, is trying to control us a little bit while setting uh, realistic expectations, knowing what they're able to accomplish. So they're like, 
these guys are going to beat it quick, but we want them to go a little bit slow too. So, uh, like I said, I would consider if you're going to, you know, you want to need sleep, you need to work, all those sort of things. When you wake up, just drop your character into training grounds for six, seven hours. Uh, and there's a way to do that, uh, which, you know, I guess, you know what, I could, that's a good spot to drop this is uh, I'll bust that out right here and show the clip where I'm basically going to show you how to preload this. All right. So this was a video I took before the patch. So you can see that uh, about an hour before the patch, I had no charge time left. Um, and I was j the way you basically do this is that you come through here and you will charge your time. Now you have to make sure that you have no time available. Okay, none. So you can see this is going up over six hours, just like it would any time. Now this one lets you go to 37 for some reason. It's gonna bug out here. So that's one thing to remember. Um, because you can only do, you can see that I've got 89 tickets. I'm just showing, hey, I've got more than 37. So your cap's at 37. So you go back in there and it's not even a real cap. I don't know if I do it here. If you try to accept 37, it won't work. So it lets you go up to 37, even though I, I know I have more, but it won't actually work. Do I do it? I think I do do it. Yeah, so it doesn't let me do it. So then I go back in and I do the 36, which is the six hours. So you do this just before reset um, if you haven't used it for the week. And then the following week, what I did after this is I, you can see, I, like I had a, um, an hour, two hours left to do this. Um, and I just sat with six hours on it and then it rolled over. I had nine hours and then I added another six hours to it to use all in one week. So I had 15 hours in one week. It was great. Loved it. And, uh, you know, that's the sort of thing I'm talking about when, you know, you, if you want to leave your character into training grounds for six hours or, you know, nine hours or 15 hours while the patch is kind of running and then go back later and do the story, you can do that. And I actually sort of like that. They're giving us some flexibility with leveling thinking I'm a working adult. Maybe I can't be around or I'm a working whoever, and I can't finish this right now. So I'm just going to drop my character in training grounds. So I like this little tidbit. Um, now let's also talk about what we have for levels on top of that. So one of the things that they did in this patch, which I found Vana interesting, this is just a screenshot of me leveling. This is in Dark Domain Nostrand. Uh, Nostrand. And you can just see there's a lot of different things here. I've got, you know, uh, the collections, those are whatever, but I, I had a stack of quests here. I had a bunch of stuff here. And this was sort of how this zone was set up is like, it, it's not just like a, it's kind of linear, but it was more like pocket base. Like you're in here, then you're in here, then you're in here, then you're in here, then you're in this area, then you come into this area. Then, and, and it was like, there is stuff all over the place here. So some people were complaining where they'd get to like this area and it would be a quest that would send them back over here. So again, it's not the most efficient time thing to actually level the quest either. You can see this is sort of the evolution a little bit through this zone where you're just getting more and more and more. Now, part of this is like some of the quests might not be worth as much. Again, I believe that they're trying to slow us down a little bit because they know we're friggin' crazy and we're just going to try to hit level cap super, super quick, which I mean, I that I get it. You know, I'm trying to remember what I how hard I push wow to level cap, but you know, that's what they're sort of doing here in my mind, you know, and again, there was some more things that would pop up, you know, so, and this is just one small spot, you know, one spot where it was just kind of like, okay, I still have the, the deadly Draugr one that was just kind of dragging out, you know, powerful potions, uh, curse the dragon sitting there, you know, we had some ones change in eternal love, curse the dragon, all that kind of thing. But as you're working through these zones, um, I believe more and more that your expectation slash our expectation should be that they're going to be a little slow going, that they're going to intend for us to take a while. I remember several days after the patch, there were plenty of people going, how'd you get to 120 so fast? I was like, man, I wasn't even one of the first. Like, you know, so there is a wide range of people here doing this. So again, the expectations. First, expect, expect that you're not going to get all the way to level cap through the story. I just think this is going to be a trend that they're going to continue to do. How they do it might be slightly different. The amount that you get might range slightly, but because of this, you might want to consider just dropping your character, depending what your schedule like and what your obligations are like, 
consider dropping your character into training grounds leave them there for a bit that way when you go back to the story one it'll be a little easier two you've got more free time i know for me probably gonna do that next time as much as i love doing it as a content creator and getting everything done and talking to everybody it is awesome but if i've got stuff going on i might not be able to do that so i encourage you to do the same thing and to plan ahead I talked about uh, how to preload that. So, you know, again, you can do that. Just be smart about it. Think about what the week is with the patch that's a level cap and then load it so you get even more hours uh, that you can actually go through the training grounds for those levels. And then last but not least, expect all sorts of running around in these zones. I think that that's just something that they're going to do. Uh, they've done it a little bit in this patch. I think they're probably going to do it more. Uh, one of the zones even after this, I was just like, man, there are quests everywhere. So, and we were joking about that on Discord a bit where it just seemed like you could quest and quest and quest and quest. So those are sort of my leveling expectations. I think I'm going to do a leveling tips thing. You got a little bit of the tips, I guess, in this. You know, a little bit of the training grounds tip too. I'll probably drop that maybe separately to be a little bit more of a tip but i thought this was also a video that might be able to help uh beginners intermediate and even people at the end game who are you know wanting to try to improve things and maybe didn't do this last time so i hope this video has been helpful to you again if you want to check out the discord link in the description below appreciate you best way to follow along if you want to help the youtube algorithm out hammer down like buttons click notification bell subscribe always like that and let me know what your thoughts are Are there anything else that you think you would do differently as far as expectations for leveling uh are my ideas here totally out of whack you know just let me know what your thoughts are always appreciate that and until next time i hope you have a wonderful day